What's up, everybody? Welcome to the WFSO reaction. Um, we haven't done like a wrestling one in a while, so I just thought I'd just talk about um, this um, issue that seems like been going on. I was talking about it this past Monday on WFSO Aftermath. If you get a chance, go check out the um, episode here on YouTube. Um, I was talking about the same thing about like Ric Flair and stuff like that. And um, of course, where a certain situation was like certain people like in the industry today and especially like what's going on in the Indies as well. Like some of them like try to hide it and try to blame, you know, trying to get the heat off of them and just blame somebody else, just put it that way. But um, Hazel has um, sent me um, this and of course the title you see, it says Shawn Michaels accused of date rape. Um, I'm going to read the article, so this will be my first time reading, so this is crazy, so. WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels could be in trouble after a story resurfaced from his days as, he, as a part of the Rockers alongside Marty Jannetty. Uh, Vice at their, I mean, Vice Dark Side of the Ring, I'm sorry. <laughs> Vice Dark Side of the Ring recently aired a controversial episode, which is a plain ride from hell. And it has made some headlines revolving around accusations of Ric Flair. And... Probably if y'all don't have a chance the opportunity, um, you can probably can watch it on Vice TV on demand. Um, it was their like half season premiere, like the second half. Um, but yeah, this is insane. Like, um, also if you, it's probably on you. I found it on YouTube um, this past Friday about the Ric Flair thing. So if you get an opportunity to check it out on YouTube, it's on there. So you got a chance, just go ahead and check that out. But yeah, this is crazy. Um. Let's see. It's a perfect use. Helicon or H bombs and various drinks to mess people up on that plane. Um, for those unaware, let's see. Helicon, Alcoin, I guess that's how you call it, is a sedative that can use paranormal suicidal denation and impair memory, judgment, or correlate coordination. Combined with other substances, particularly alcohol, can slow breathing and possibly lead to death. An older shoot interview with Brutus the Barber BK has resurfaced where he speaks about Helicon and how the Rockers love using it. HBK and Marginetti were known for their partying back in the day, but the claims could certainly land them in criminal offense. Brutus claimed, listen, the Rockets love those Helicons, man. They freaking boom. They drop them on all the brawls that, and then they get them back to their room and they pass out and then the Rockers, would take the laundry off and they would have a good time with them and then throw them out in the hallway and mainly like naked. So I'll just put it that way. Needless to say, they got in trouble in a few hotels. Michaels and Janetti are yet to respond to this clip. Oh, well, so more well, I start, let's see. Let's love those halcyons, man. They freaking boom. They drop them on all the broads. And then they get them back to the room and then they even they have a good time with them. And they throw them out in the hallway and shit naked. Yeah. So <laughs> like, needless to say. <laughs> oh, well, it's probably just the same thing that I just read this. But um but anyways if if they actually did what they but then again Marty Janetti is known as a little bit of a creeper anyway for some of his um comments and stuff he'd been saying about um if it wasn't his uh, his daughter or whatever he said if it wasn't his daughter he would do her that was just crazy and just some other stuff that he was just saying that um was kind of like controversial it just like didn't make any sense and i think ever since it's like or i don't know if they let him go of wwe or what happened just after he was in wwe or wwf at the time that um hey he was just like you know kind of like messed up in the head like like he's in decent shape but it's just like still like why well, saying those things like try to get a rise out of somebody it's like it's like Virgil being you know but then again everybody know his story so I'm not gonna get on him talk about that for like another subject but if it's true that they did this this is like really, you know, kind of messed up, you know, because who knows what they, what, you know, wrestlers did back in the days and all that stuff. And 
and that shit, you know, some of it still applies, like in today's thing, like with some promoters and stuff, just letting stuff happen and just getting away with it. It's just kind of stupid. And um, I guess like with the thing, my situation, it was not even, you know, not like that or anything like that. But um, we'll talk about that another time. But I guess the point is, it's like, a lot of people look up to you and plus like you have like women that you know that likes you and maybe I wouldn't say like want to be with you but they you know <coughs> oh, excuse me. but I don't think you know they need to you know drug somebody just to get get with them anyway it's just insane and plus like with certain things that's going like because some of this is going on in the indie wrestling as well especially some of it right here in um, wisconsin that you know some people don't um speak out of or don't say anything about but they want to point at somebody's you know record or something like that but they don't want to look at like what they did or doing some crazy or things like that so it's it could be going this could be going like everywhere in the um states and whatever but um it's just like some of the stuff that I've seen and heard and stuff like that. It's just in, it's just insane. Um, but um, like they um, like some people know they hope like if if they did do this like the Rockers, then they should be like hold accountable for and could be in should be in trouble as much as you know they did with um Bill Cosby. But like what they actually you know able to hold that because I don't know like certain states or where this happened at because it could be like a state that you know that probably can be able to charge them and it's been so long since this happened like probably around the um you know in the 80s they probably still able to you know get them in trouble for that but um Hazel had pointed out something that this is probably was like one of the reasons that I'm shy because I you know turned to God um and but then again everybody knows this story like how he's been you know how he's been acting and things like that and been taking like drugs and stuff you know before he made his return before he um retired but i don't know some people that be you know like on drugs and stuff some of them can play it out and you never know until you know it's too late but um this is just insane it's like partly it's like hard to talk about for me only because like some situation that's going on with me and things like that so at times it's, it's hard to talk about especially like when um you know just people just get you know just women just get treated like that it's just sad and um i know probably when you're looking at it when they're older and older and they think like what did i did um but hopefully but they'd be like hopefully i'm not gonna um, it's not gonna be brought back up we're not gonna say anything and hopefully it just doesn't come up but um Unfortunately, it's going to be brought up and stuff, especially like this, like with the Ric Flair situation with the Plane from Hell um, episode they show on Dark Side of the Ring. Hey, this could be, you know, some things that, you know, you need to be worried about, especially like with the, um, with some, you know, some wrestlers in the locker room, how the way they act and stuff. Um. Hopefully everybody and like even promoters and wrestlers and stuff like be aware of something like this and don't act like that or something because you're a wrestler and stuff like that. And like half of the time with some of the indie wrestlers, like half of them, we don't even know them or either we don't know them or we really don't like them because how much of an a-hole that they are. And plus like stories that you hear, yeah, it's just crazy. But um, what do y'all think about this situation? With, um, um, get in trouble for this or get arrested? Or what do y'all think? Like, should this be buried in the past or should it be brought up and just show, like, as, make an example for people that does in the future and stuff? And, you know, like, for the past um couple of years, you know, like, like they said, certain wrestlers did this and certain wrestlers did that. And that would call some of them to no longer wrestle or have a hard time trying to get a you know gig and things like that so so yeah there's just a lot of stuff going on so crazy enough um 
I know it was somebody else that I was talking about that kind of done the um like molested like um a kid, whatever. And it was like a wrestler. I can't think of his name right in the back of my tongue, but the video should be on here on YouTube that I was talking about this guy. I think it's Buck Zamo or something like that. Um I can never get his last name right, but yeah. Um so if you get an opportunity to look at the past videos on WFSO, check that one out. I think it should be on there. I'm not sure. But um, um like the video, give it a like. Um, because like this just needs to be like more aware of. Um also um don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you want to hear more about wrestling and let's talk about the Milwaukee Bucks. So you like basketball and pro wrestling. You would like this channel and spread the word about this channel because we need people to know about this channel and it'd just be awesome. You know, we get to do some, you know, some live videos and stuff like that about, you know, like talk about wrestling or talk about the Milwaukee bus and stuff like that. So I know we can do like live video from home, but you just got to get to a certain amount of subscribers to be able to do a lot of live videos. But I'm... Um, Anyways, thank you for this channel. Um, of course, give it a like because it'll spread the channel more and helps the channel grow as well. But until the next video, y'all have a good one.